Hello guys, this is Nosh43 here. Today I have a breakdown video. The Well High Kappa 4.5B. Uh, I got this on Airsplat's website. Uh, if you want a review on the weapon, I do have an un... not really an unboxing, it's a review. Um, yeah, it, it's from the day I got it. Uh, this weapon has given me a few problems, you know. Uh, it would get caught half-cocked like that. But I fixed it now, it doesn't do that anymore. Um, now, in order to fix the problem, though, you need to know how to take the gun apart. A lot of people don't understand how to take the gun apart, so I'm going to show you how to take the gun apart. First thing you do, make sure you have no ammunition, no gas in the mag. Second thing you do, press this button here and remove the mag. Your button will be black, not white. Now with the mag, see that button there? Press that to make sure there's no gas in there. If there's gas in there, you hold it down until all the gas is gone. And then you respray with silicone oil. Make sure you respray with silicone oil, otherwise you're going to mess up your O-rings. This mag, it's done. You don't need to do anything more to this mag. Do something more to this mag, I am not liable for it. And I'm not liable for any of this because... If you fuck it up, it's your fault, not mine. So now, <clears throat> here's the weapon with the mag removed, as you can see. You can clearly see straight through there. You can tell the mag's removed. Um, now, some people like to take off the orange tip. You can do that. Um, this tip was actually really loose. I, I didn't try and take it off. I was putting a suppress or attempting to fit a suppressor on here and it just kind of popped off as I was doing that so it's a good thing to some people and a bad thing to others um but anyway in a, a, a and it really doesn't matter at the moment so take it apart you grab the slide pull it back you have to take your middle finger okay you have to take your middle finger put it right here in front of the slide and hold the slide back then you take your other finger, and you insert it into the, I, I don't remember the proper name for this, but you insert it into there, and you should feel a little bump at the very side, and that bump should be the slide catch. Press on that, and the slide catch should pop out some, if not most of the way like mine just did, and then you remove the slide catch. You then let go, or you can push it forward if it needs to be pushed forward, of the mag, or of the slide, and you can dis you discharge the hammer, make sure the hammer's not charged back, slide the top off, this part, I uh, haven't had any problems with this part in particular, uh, but in case you do, I don't know how to actually take this whole assembly up here apart, uh, I'm not even going to try because that looks extremely complex. Uh, nevertheless, though, uh, if you do need to, I'm sure there's a video somewhere out there on how to. Or, you know, you can just figure it out yourself, take it apart, and then put it back together the same way you took it apart. So there's that. Now you have the, uh, upper assembly, I call it. Um, I think a lot of people call it that. I believe that's the proper name for it. Uh, but that's the full assembly of all the parts in the upper part of the gun. So now what you do is you grab your return spring and you pull it out so you get this and you get a little pin or not a little pin you get a pin it's got a good weight to it too you just push that aside or if your problems with that you replace it whatever whatever it is you need to do you fix but if you're fixing the problem that I had where it was getting caught slightly back don't worry about that now you're left with I think it's two more assembled pieces the full part of the slide up here the actual portion of the slide, which is actually embedded into the back of it, so don't try and remove it. And the barrel assembly, which just pulls right out at that point. Um, this part right here does have to be removed from the slide that's supposed to come out with uh, this. I don't know why mine didn't come out with it, but yeah, whatever. I, it came out later, and I forgot to mention it. But yeah, this part right here, it will go... In this bottom housing right here, just slides right in. 
move to the top and you just replace that. Or don't replace it, get or move it. Um so now that we've got most of the weapon apart, what we have to do now we have to address the problem. Problem from what I was told, and this did fix my uh, my problem at least, um, is that this there's a spring in here, and sometimes the spring gets a little off, and all you have to do is just grab the ends of the nozzle. I like to use it through the well here. Uh, a lot of people don't really care, uh, so just pull that back, pull that down a few times, straight as you can possibly get it. Also, there's a screw there. I find it helps to tight or to tight. I took the screw off the first time. I don't think you need to. Uh, there's really nothing you can do on the inside of that anyway. But just you know, pull it back and click it a couple times until it straightens itself out. And uh, a lot of people would assume that just uh, dry firing or cocking it back and you know without a mag in and just cocking it back repetitively would do the same thing in theory it would however in practice it does not dry firing is actually what causes the problem so uh, there's that and you know that's all straight now I'm going to show you how to put it back together it's really simple putting back together I, I've done this a million times take your barrel assembly make sure this end is pointing up or upside down take your slide make sure that's upside down slide it through the front. Do not attempt to slide it in through the bottom of the slide. That will not work. Slide it in through the top and push it in until it reaches where it should be. Clicks. Uh, at that point you then take your return spring, fit it back over your uh, whatever that is, the pin. Then what I like to do, just because it simplifies things, is take this and fit it on there as well. So we now have one part uh, as opposed to two different parts. Anyway, you then take this and you got to make sure that the bottom of this pin, the one that's the part that's concave rounded, is facing upwards or downwards, sorry. So the part's got to be like that. And then you take your slide and you turn it and you just fit it in there. And you slide it right in. The spring is kind of uh, annoying sometimes. And you know, you may have to fiddle with it until you get it to go through like that. But once it goes through like that, you're good. Um, and then you pull it back so it rests on this part right here. So it all looks like one part actually, if you really look at it, if you look at it in the video at least. But it's not. So the, the spring rests on this part here. Now we're left with three fully assembled or three assembled pieces now. We have or three assembled in one part. This is the upper barrel assembly or upper assembly. This is the lower assembly. In order to put these two together, there's two grooves right here. You can probably see them. Right there. Those grooves take it and you slide it into the grooves in the back of the weapon right there and it slides right on like a charm now thing is a lot of people will try and just take this pin and just slide it in right there that will not work for you what you have to do is you actually have to pull it back get the upper barrel assembly properly seated take the pin and slide it back into its original place and there you go now, uh, it does work. Uh, this is also going to work for you if you're trying to uh, dremel down some parts and, uh, you know, maybe make a lighter trigger. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, you want to build a race gun with it, whatever. This will work. Um, so this is Notch43 here, uh, signing off. Thank you, YouTube.